Thank you for tuning in. What you're looking at is the TexasVestments.com website about us page, an investment club here in Dallas, Texas, detailing who we are and what we do. I'm the club president, Lee Ennis. In this video, we'll detail what we're currently invested in, why we've invested, and what our outlook is for the market. Hope you enjoy and learn something. Happy September. It's been a long time coming, so I'm really excited about getting this uh, done. Um, we're going to just do a quick uh, uh, overview of kind of where we are now. And, um, and then we'll do some comparisons and some deep dives on some of these companies that we need to get in and out of. First up, Hasbro. Uh, the market's been doing really well over the past six months or so, and the portfolio's just been riding that wave all the way up. Um, and you'll see that we have a lot of uh, sales signals here. Um, so uh, we'll go through th those companies uh, in a bit. Uh, Hasbro, um, uh, one of the, the better uh, performers in our portfolio. Uh, they just inked the deal with Entertainment One, um, which means that they will now own um, lots of content. Um, so before, all they did was just license uh, the toys uh, from different movies. Now they are going to actually own some of these movies and some of these TV shows, um, as well as hold the licensing uh, for those uh, those shows. I'm sure. Uh, one of the biggest uh, that you know I saw uh, was the the children's uh, shows, um, Peppa Pig and uh, PJ Mask, um, they'll own those. There's also uh, The Walking Dead, which is a popular uh, series, and so they'll they'll own that content. Honestly, I'm not very happy about it uh, because I'm much rather just the toy licensing. Uh, but now they are, you know, if this deal goes through, there'll be a media company, you know, uh, the likes of Disney you know, almost. Uh, next up is uh, Rogers Communications. Um, hasn't performed very well, but um, it hasn't um, lost a whole lot either. Uh, we'll look at uh, the uh, the current price on this uh, here in a moment, uh, but it hasn't hasn't moved around uh, much at all. Uh, it's just a slow and steady. Um, they are um, talking about rolling out 5G in Canada, uh, but nothing else has really happened uh, with them at all. American Electric Power. Um, ironically enough, the utilities have been performing really well, um, even uh, while the market in general um, has been running up. Um, a lot of this has to do with the uh, interest rate uh, reduction. Um, typically, whenever the interest rates fall, investors uh, move into investments that have higher uh, dividends. And so utilities is one of those um, uh, sectors that uh, has you know very safe very steady uh, dividend is usually a little higher um, than, than most companies uh, Exxon Mobil um, is a company that we've held on to uh, forever and um, right now it has failed quite a bit I think it's down to about 68 69 dollars and you see we're, we're in at 83 so we'll be looking to possibly add to that position uh, but again we're going to do a deep dive on um, what our options are and just a deep dive on ExxonMobil itself uh, Target uh, uh, it's been a, a relatively uh, decent performer I think right now uh, the current price is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, I think like $99 or maybe $100, uh, not entirely sure. We'll have to take a look at it. Um, but uh, they've done done really well differentiating themselves uh, from Walmart um, as well as keeping up with Amazon and Walmart. Um, the latest news is that they have a deal with Disney uh, to have an entire Disney section uh, inside of the Target store. So um, I think that will bode well for Target. And again, just helps differentiate them from your uh, your your uh, low income Walmart, right? Uh, Target is a little more upscale, and so I think they've done pretty well with with keeping that um, that going. Uh, Pfizer, Pfizer is um, a legacy uh, stock. It's the stock that we started out with back in 2015. As you see, we only own uh, three shares of Pfizer. Um, Pfizer, you know hasn't done a whole lot, hasn't gone anywhere, but it hasn't lost anything either. Um, right now, uh, Pfizer is about $35, $36, uh, but it's going to be really hard for us to actually get a 
sales signal for Pfizer because we don't have that many shares. So what we're looking at doing is possibly exiting these legacy uh, positions um, and, and really get on track with, uh, with a, a better company in the healthcare sector. Um, there's not a lot going on with Pfizer, honestly. Um, they are always uh, creating new drugs and always researching. They're always buying smaller drug companies to add to their portfolio of drugs they have coming out. A lot of uh, drugs uh, have recently um, been made generic, so they've lost uh, licenses for a lot of their, their older drugs that made them popular. Uh, but, you know, Pfizer is Pfizer. Not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, waste management. Um, again, uh, this one has, has done really well for us. Um, uh, current price, I believe, is somewhere around 107, maybe 117. Um, not a lot of news from waste management, uh, but, you know, they have been uh, just growing and growing. Um, their, um, their whole business, you know, is just simply about getting rid of waste. So the idea is, is that as the economy increases, as the population increases, waste is going to increase. And um, uh, figuring out ways uh, to, you know, better, uh, uh, better manage uh, the waste is, is really what they're about. So it's really good good business uh, to be in. And like I said, they're, they're performing uh, fairly well for us. Um, Wirehauser. Um, is uh, another um, not legacy stock but very close to being legacy stock uh, because this one was purchased I believe in late 2015 uh, if, if not early 2016 um, hasn't done a whole lot uh, there's been uh, news of housing starts slows um, and so that just you know that goes along with the economy we've been bouncing up at the top uh, for a while now and there's a lot of talk about when is it going to come down. We're starting to see signs of that happening. And Wirehauser, I think, is one of those signs. Because when housing, when, when, when new construction on housing slows down, that lets you know that the economy is cooling off. Um, there's always a need for lumber when you're doing home renovations, when you're purchasing older properties and you need to fix them up. Uh, lumber is used for those things. Um, there was also an issue with uh, lumber tariffs. Uh, I think we have seen that come and go. It's no longer an issue right now. It's just that housing um, starts uh, ha have not been the best. So Wildhauser's kind of just bouncing around. Um, hasn't, you know, moved a bunch. I think it's down to about 26 right now. Um, so we'll either um, be adding to that or, um, or, or getting out of it. So. We'll, we'll, we'll check those comparisons. Um, Blackstone. Blackstone's done really well for us. Um, just real quick, I want to say about Wirehauser too. Um, one of the, the options that we have here uh, is possibly uh, getting into uh, some options. Um, if we can sell some options uh, to buy this thing at a, at a lower price, that may be a good option to make some money on this. All right, uh, Blackstone. Uh, Blackstone is our, our financial uh, company. It's done really well. I think it's up to about $49 right now. Um, and so, um, you know, and, and the dividend is, is awesome, right? Um, they, they've done some really good things. Uh, they're constantly buying up uh, new companies. Um, they just, um, they just um, bought... See, they already own 42% of the company, and they're buying another, I think, uh, maybe 30% or something like that um, of, of, a, of a company. I have to look and see um, what company it is. I, I forget at the moment. Uh, but but they've, they, they've been doing re really well, and even though the uh, interest rate has come back, it hasn't hurt them uh, much at all. But it does it does concern me a bit because uh, Blackstone is involved in a lot of real estate, and so typically what's happening is is you if you borrow at five percent, when the interest rate falls, um, then you're you're losing money right because you could have borrowed at a, a at a cheaper rate. Um, now those those guys are smart. I'm pretty sure they're going to restructure as much as they can. Um, to get the, the better rate on those on those debts, but that's something again that we're gonna have to take a look at uh, Texas Instruments again another uh, really good performer. I think 
they're up to about 117 right now something like that again not a lot of uh news uh, from texas instruments um the last big news that they had was concerning uh, automated driving um so we'll stay up on top of that just to see where that goes